Before we get started, Parshas Balak, Kavshenayin Gimel, I want to mention something about a very chashv organization here in town. I was just handed one of these new uh, tzedakah boxes, pushkas here, came out from Bika Cholom of Lakewood. They have representatives here just about every week at the Shear. An unbelievable organization, and uh, they're going to be giving these out in town, in Lakewood, but anybody from anywhere in the world who wants to receive one of them, 732-905-3020, and they'll be sure to get you one out as soon as possible. This week's Parsha, Parsha's Bullock, has some of the most unbelievable psukim in the Torah. And uh, although many of them are very cryptic and uh, tough to understand, and some of the uh, some of the most famous psukim that we know, Tfilas, different things, whose mouth did it come out of? It came out of the mouth of Bilam HaRasha. Although we know that everything that Bilam said in this week's parsha was put in his mouth by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Bilam was not able to say what he wanted to, and that's very fortunate that he wasn't able to say what he was thinking and what he wanted to say. One of the psukim, Lohibit Oven Biyakov, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not look at Oven, the iniquities of Yaakov, of Klal Yisrael. V'loi ro'a amol Yisrael, Amol is referred to as, uh, as perverseness, I think, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't look at either of those. Hashem Elikov Imoi, the puzzle continues, Usruas Melech Boy. So the first question that we can ask, which we've actually asked in years past also, once or twice, the Gemara says in the Sefta Baba Kama, Daf Nun Amar Alef, that one is not allowed to say, one may not say that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a Vatran. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu looks away from things. A person has to know that everything he does, even Bechadre Chadorim in its house, when he thinks he's hiding, a person does anything, it is being watched by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't forget, and there's a Din V'cheshpan for anything. So the Gemara there says that a person is not allowed to say that a Kaddish Baruch Hu is a Vatran, that a Kaddish Baruch Hu looks away from things. So what would this Pasuk mean, Lohibit Oven B'Yakoy, that a Kaddish Baruch Hu does not look at the iniquities of Yaakov, of things of people in Klai Yisrael? How could that be? We know you can't say that a Kaddish Baruch Hu looks away from anything. What is the explanation in this Pasuk? The second question is a very interesting question. Yonis and Ben Uziel, on the parsha on this pasuk of Usruas Melech Boy. At the end of this pasuk, there are some words that seemingly do not fit with the rest of the pasuk. And he explains the Targum Yonis and Ben Uziel says the following words that Usruas Melech Boy is translated means Viyabavois Malka Meshicha, Miyabava Beinehoi. And a loose translation is that the shayforas of Mashiach are always resounding amongst Kla Yisrael. What does that mean? In other words, that Kla Yisrael even are constantly thinking of and waiting for Mashiach. So what would that have to do with the rest of the Pesach? Like, Hebed Oven B'Yakoy, Ra Amobi Yisrael, and at the end of the Pesach, Usru Melech Boy. What would that have to do with anything? This explanation that there's, there's shoiforus resounding, that they're always waiting for the shoifer of Mashiach. What does that have to do with this puzzle? So Siva Shalom has a very interesting explanation on this whole Indian. He says as follows, when the puzzle says, Lohibit Oven be Yaakov, he says Yaakov is referring to before Yaakov's name was changed to Yisrael, it was a different Madrega. Yaakov is referring to a common person. To the common man, Anoshim Pshutim says in Siva Shalom. And what we're saying is that the deficiency that Anoshim Pshutim may have is that they're taka over Averis. They do mitzvahs, but they're over Averis. They're over Averis, they're real Averis. That's referred to as Yaakov. And Voloiro, Amobi Yisrael, you see, we change from Yaakov to Yisrael. 
That's referring to people who are already on a much higher madrega. And their pagam is not one of real averos. It's a pagam like somebody who's omo klapi milo. That a person, he's just not doing the rotan Hashem. And we've spoken about this on things that are actually heter. Things that are actually mutter. Kadesh atzmachav mutter loch. There are rules that the Yidin follow, even if something is not totally usher. So not being miskadesh for mutaloi, that's what the, that part of the Pasuk Vlayra Amobi Yisrael is talking about. So on Lahibit Avim Biyakov of real Averois, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us in the Pasuk, says in the Siva Shalom. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us Lahibit Avim Biyakov, further in the Pasuk, Hashem Elikavi Mai. A Yid has to know that even though sometimes you cannot overcome your Yetzirah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu still knows that inside the Yid, the Yid is broken. And he knows that this Avera is distancing himself from Hashem. And a Yid, even when he's doing an Avera, he knows, he has to know, the Pasuk is telling you, Hashem Elikavi Moi. Hashem knows that a Yid is torn inside, and just doing an Avera doesn't chas v'shalom ruin your relationship for, from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It may distance you a little bit, but you have to know the rest of the Pasuk of Hashem Elikavi Moi. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu is always with you, even after you do the Chet. Because Lohibit Oven B'Yakov, HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows, but he doesn't look very strongly, he doesn't cut off the relationship that he has with the Yid, ever. The second part of the Pasuk, we asked the Kasha, it says, Usruas Melech Boy. The question was, what does Leiro Amu be Yisrael, and then continue on with Usruas Melech Boy. What does it have to do with anything? We said it that it doesn't uh, fit with the rest of the Pasuk. When we say Usruas Melech Boy, like the Targum Yonison explained, and he explained that what it means is that we're waiting, a Yid is constantly hears the shoifer of Mashiach in his ears. They talk about Mashiach, they live with Mashiach. The, with this Targum Yonason, we could understand with the other part of the Pasuk, like we said, Valeira Amobi Yisrael, that's a person who's over a different kind of an Avera. He's not doing the Ratzon Hashem, we say, but Kaddish Atzmachal B'Mutter. What kind of shoifer, a Yid who does an Avera in that way, and he's on a higher madrega, he's waiting for the shoifer, v'yas ruach atumo avir min ha'aretz. He's constantly waiting. He had a battle with his Yitzharah, and he lost. And he, not, not in a, in a, in a straight-out Avera. He had a battle with something which is mutter to him, with Kaddish Atzimcha b'mutter, and in that way, he wasn't able to be goy for his Yetzirah. Usuas Melech Boy tells us that he's waiting for the day that Mashiach is going to come and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to take away that Yetzirah from Pla Yisrael. That there won't be any more Taivas. And then, things, even in things of Heter, we say, V'loi Ra Amol Bi Yisrael. In this man of Mashiach, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu taka, takes away all the Taivas, so that's the connection of Usuas Melech Boy at the end of the Pasuk. That a Yid who has a hard time sometimes in Kaddish Atzim Chobam he's waiting for when is Mashiach going to come that I will not have this kind of Nisoyim. The Nesiva Shalom explains in another way, he says that the Pagam of Chet, what is the Pagam of Chet when a person does an Avera? It's when your Machshava goes along with the Maisa. And that's the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu looks at it. As long as it's just your guf doing the averus, as long as you're doing something either with your hands, your mind, with your with your feet, you're doing that kind of avera where it's an avera only be ma'isa. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, "I'm able to keep the relationship that I have with you." The problem with chet begins when when the machshava follows along with the guf. So as long as it's just the guf, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is able to say, V'layra amal Yisrael. I'm able to, so to speak, in that way, not take out the punishment on a member of Kala Yisrael. The Siva Shalom says, another pshat, another beautiful pshat, in Lehibit Oven B'yakoy, he brings down a Chuvas Arashba, which is actually a famous Chuvas Arashba, we say, Bein Kach, he speaks about, Bein Kach, U Bein Kach, Keruyin Vonim. That Klai Yisrael, a Yid, no matter what he does, 
is called a son. We are all called children of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. We know coming up in the Haftaris of the weeks coming up during the three weeks, this Tuesday is going to be Shavas and Thomas. We have to start thinking about these things. And in, in the Haftaris, the Haftaris, some of it say, but it calls Kla Yisrael Bonim Ashkisim. Corrupt children. Another, Bonim Le Emun Bam. Children that are without Emuna. And still we see something very interesting. Even though the Pasuk calls Bonim Ashkisim, it's called, it's called corrupt, but still you have the title of Bonim. Bonim, like Emun Bon. Still, we see in the Pasuk, you, you have the title of Bonim. And what's the answer to that? How does that work? That comes from this Pasuk. It comes from Hashem Elei Moi. That no matter what you do, we still retain the title of Bonim. B'nai Yisrael are always Bonim to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a relationship with Kala Yisrael that is unconditional. It's an unconditional love that he has for Kala Yisrael. That no matter what you do, you could be corrupt, you could be this, but Benkach, Benkach, nonetheless, you are considered Bonim. And he says, and Siva Shalom says, just like by Gashmias, that once somebody is someone's father, biologically, uh, the, the child could be as upset as he wants at a parent, and a parent could be uh, as upset as, uh, as could happen to a child. But there's one thing that never changes. A ben is a ben. Bonim, children are children, no matter what happens in life. And the same thing, Zokta Nesiva Shalom, when it comes to Bonim, the way the Pesach said, no matter what Kla Yisrael does, you're still considered Bonim. In Ruchni, it's, it's a connection that Bnei Yisrael and HaKadosh Baruch will always have. It's a Metzias. It is brought down in the Torah's Ovois that if a Yid is Mekabel, the Rotten Hashem, if a, the Hanhogets of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if a Yid is Mekabel, what HaKadosh Baruch Hu does to you, that so too HaKadosh Baruch Hu treats you the same way. If you're not always so perfect in your mitzvahs, in your Averis, in the things that you do in your life, if you accept whatever HaKadosh Baruch Hu throws your way, then Mida Keneged Mida, HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepts you, so to speak, when you do something wrong, which is an unbelievable lesson to learn. That it's me that connected me that works that way. So we said like this. We asked the Kasha at the beginning of this year now. How is it possible, Lahibit Oven Biyakov, anyone who says that Kodesh Baruch Hu is a Vatran is, 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 is saying something wrong. You're not allowed to say that Kodesh Baruch Hu looks away from everything. Zokta Nesiva Shalom, a very beautiful, beautiful thought. And with this, is something you can take with you to, to keep on your mind. He says it's not shot that Kodesh Baruch Hu is being a Vatran. That he's looking away. Shad is that Hakadosh Baruch Hu always works in mida connected mida, and the way it is is that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is telling you that if you accept what happens in your life, if you accept everything that Hakadosh Baruch Hu sends you away, then up shot that Hakadosh Baruch Hu looks away if you do something wrong. It's mida connected mida. That's the way Hakadosh Baruch Hu works. Mida connected mida. Hakadosh Baruch Hu will accept you, so to speak. Today it's a very big thing, 21st century, right? That. Uh, we accept everybody, and we have... Baruch Hu also has this kind of acceptance thing. You're a child. You're, you're bonim atem. You're children of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He accepts, but you have to be accepting of what HaKadosh Baruch Hu sends you away. And if you do that, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepts you. And that's some of the lessons we learned in this week's Parsha. From the words that came out of Bilaam's mouth that HaKadosh Baruch Hu put in there, there's very encouraging words. Hashem is always with us. To that shoifer of Mashiach.